Hi guys, welcome to Simproof, Try speaking here, and welcome to a Sims 4 tutorial video about how to trick the game into building a micro home, tiny home, or what is the other one called? Small home to, yeah, to have like a bigger house than what is actually the restriction of it. So today we are going to look at how we can trick it. There are several tricks we are going to do two that I know of and then we were also gonna mix them two together so that at the end you have something like this here this is my loft kind of house my factory building I've just fairly decorated it a little bit so but yeah you could already see that this is working this is the only plate that counts which is 17 tiles it says up here and the other things are not considered a house uh, and yeah they work you can put stuff in here your sim can go through a door here and we will go through how this is possible in the end and yeah let's just start with the basics of building in the sims and why this is working as a micro home tiny home or small home so we hit the b button in build mode of course the b button is always the shortcut for the wall section you can also get to the wall section if you just click here on walls on the left lower corner um, but i always use the wall tool which is the b so um we have 17 tiles right now and if we drag and drop it automatically adds. Why does it do that? Because this is considered a room in The Sims 4. Now, if we do this separately, one, two, three, and four, but we don't close this and just drag it up here, we don't get any tiles added to that. So this is possible. Now all of these walls are just one wall Whereas when I click here, it is considered a whole room and I can get the benefits of dragging and dropping it, etc. The game is like, ah, this is over 100 tiles, don't do this. But yeah, this is basically what we don't want to do here. It is making the building fairly easy, of course, because you can correct everything you want to do with a room. So yeah, this is uh, the rule number one. It also works with uh, sh like medium walls, like um, what's it called? Half walls, yeah. So if you just take one, for example, you can also copy them here with a copy tool if you click on them. And then you just put them together like that. Oh, I just missed one, but doesn't matter. And again, it is not a room. These are just separate kind of tiles. And if we would just drag and drop them, like that we have a room and it counts as a room so what we want to do is not doing that we want to do every single wall separately to trick the whole house into being not even like made out of one room so this is trick number one and then the other trick would be going here having a huge 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 roof for example we could use that so we can look inside of the roof wait that that's a little bit too much but yeah this and then for example we do like a little um, like just a door in front and then we can put so your sims can get in of course and then we just put like a little bed in here and this will work also if you don't have the move objects cheat on it will tell you okay this is not working your sims can't get there because the roof over it is too steep but you can see here it is fine and also if you go inside you can see that this like the height of the whole thing should be fine here you know they can sit and they can sleep so basically what we learned through this is Roofs don't count as rooms. I mean, it is, of course, like an A-frame house now. And single walls that are not drag and dropped are also not rooms. So what I did for my huge micro home, because lots and lots of you have asked how I did this, I mixed these two tricks together, basically. I used only walls 
and I only used roofs. So I will fairly, of course, do like a little walls or like roof tutorial as well, because so many people also not seem to know all these tricks. But let's just say we want to do another micro home, how I did it with tricking it into uh, having like a huge house. So uh, first of all, to have these huge windows, that was also another trick because of course I used lots and lots of huge windows because I like the modern style of it. Um, and yeah, I also thought this would be cool to have like a bigger up, upper gallery and all that stuff. So if you want to do that trick, this basically consists out of roofs of this side and on this side it's like just tiny little walls all separately on the other side. This is actually anything, like everything that I did here. It's just combining these two tricks and telling the game, hey, we don't have any rooms up here. So, okay, what we do, we need, of course, a wall and we need um, a roof. Um, what I like to do here is to put the roof because I wanna have two floors. You can also do them like on ground level. Then it is even possible to not have any tiles, but let's just delete that one. And you will see that at least you need four place tiles to make it work because the game is kind of like that. Um, and I thought, okay, why not? Then let's just have like an upstairs as well. So what we need is two walls, for example, over one another. I don't know if it's possible. So sometimes you have to trick and even build like a little room. So you have the grid, the upstairs grid. That's the only tricky thing that I found is maybe a little bit too much to do. But yeah, let's have a little roof tutorial as well because some have asked and apparently don't know. I will do a roof tutorial by separate as well, but here it kind of makes sense because I use that trick a lot. So there are some basics. Um, you can see that if you place a roof like this, I think this is called a gabled half roof, half gabled roof, yes. and. Of course, everyone knows these arrows, making it bigger, like taller or smaller or wider and not so wide. So what we want to do is we want that wall that it creates because we are kind of, you know, tricking the game again to be as tall as the two walls that we have here. Here I have like the second highest wall height. Here we have the first one. If I would change that, for example, you can see that it's not working on that side anymore, but yeah, it would be fairly possible. Um, so yeah, this is the first basic that I would do just to see if it's working. Wait, what did I use over there? I used a small one over here, right? Yeah, so I really wanted to kind of rebuild that. Okay, so we place this down again and make sure that the wall on the on the gabled roof is aligning with the wall height that we in the end want to have. So now we still have these eaves looking like overhanging the whole thing. And this is something that I got a lot of times in the comments that you guys never saw the eaves. There are little tiny arrows if you click on your roof on like on the upper side and on the side. And if you drag them, this is the eaves going over and under it. And you can also make them higher, fairly, like a, by a lot, you know, can try that as like a architectural kind of thing. But what we want, we want really want to have like just a normal triangle. So we want to stick this all in and we want to stick this all in. So now we have that kind of roof. And this is one of my, uh, I will copy that. So this is one of my, let's just say construction objects now. So I could already just, so it's much more easier, go into build mode and say, we want to have, I don't know, like a metal roof or whatever. And uh, let's just make it red. Do we have like something that looks, oh, green is also very, um, like a lot, you can see that really good. Okay, so we have some trimmings and we have some uh, like colors of the roof on the side. So there we go. This is one of my roofs. Now we will copy this 
and create another build object, which is this roof, but for a window. So what first what we're going to do is you choose, of course, the window. Let's go with, I usually like to do this one. It's called the rectangular panel glass roof because it looks more modern. And then you just use the ease on one side by holding shift while using the eaves arrow on one side, for example. And then we can move it over here. And as you can see, we have a huge wall with glass. And then we're gonna copy one of our other built roofs and put them in here as well. Yeah, you see some clipping now. And this is because both of the roofs are kinda fighting with each other about who what is going to be presented. So what I just tend or like to do is hold the alt, like click on the bigger glass panel roof, hold alt, the alt key, and just tiny, tiny little bit. This, the alt key makes you smoothly adjust the height of the roof. So I hide like the alt key and just like by one pixel or something, put this down. Like it's fairly smooth now, but it is apparently under your construction roof, which are the green ones. So yeah, and this is what we are basically going to do. We are just going to um, add a little wall here and there. Now make sure that you use the trick that we used. Now I have to, yeah, okay, this is working. Mm, making sure that we are not going to close that off and doing that here as well. All right, I think we are fine now. Just dragging and dropping it, never using a roof, or like never using a room. And it should all work fine now by just copying all of your build stuff. And there we go, this is one whole you can see that 17 tiles still is like the one on this side. So now we need to close this whole thing off because it is doesn't have a roof now. So what we are going to do, we have uh, just put in two of these rooms so we get the grid. This is also why you should actually use rooms because it gives you the benefits of having the grid. You don't have to fiddle a lot. But yeah, like these plates, for example, would be super cool now. You can also access them and your Sims can walk on them, but we just need them to get the grid so we can place something really smoothly on top here. So what I want to try out today is like tucking the ease of this roof, then of course placing it here. So we're doing a little bit different, tucking the eaves in here as well. And then we're going to see if I can make them fairly up. Oh, wow, that's that's a lot. Okay, no, I'm not going to do this. But let's just say we're going to do it like that. So I'm going to make something that I wanted to try anyways in one of my builds. So this is good to do this in the tutorial. But yeah, this is working. Mm, maybe we use something that's not interlocking that much. Like that. I think that's better. Yeah. Um, and now I can use these, for example, to have like a fairly interesting roof and create them as well, putting in here and then having like that. So now we still have this big box here and we just delete it because we don't need it anymore. We placed all of our upper roofs, so to speak. And we have a fairly cool looking loft like barn thing. But yeah, basically what we learned is, let's do a little recap. Things can be under roofs and still work if they're not too close to it. And then they work and your Sims can like still use that tri like triangular space under it. And we learned that if you just place walls without closing them off so that the game makes you a room. So we go back and just close them off like that. The room doesn't count. You can still, if you put this down here, you can still put like a tile here and, you know, decorate the grass, so to speak, because it's basically like outside. 
But uh, yeah, this is basically the two tricks uh, combined together. And this is how you could do a micro home that I did uh, for tricking the game. There are fairly lots and lots of different ways to decorate these kinds of things. I personally like the loft type, but I can also see people, let's just put it in here, you know, using like the smaller wall height and just having like one big bungalow that doesn't have like two stories or something like that. Um, that's of course working as well. Maybe in this case, I don't know. Can we get a bed, please? There we go. If it's possible. Yeah, you have to make sure because it's pretty narrow here that you can put a bed up there. Apparently they can use it up here, but yeah. Uh, make sure to play test everything that you put on there. I always make them that high because I know that the diagonal is still not as, you know, low so your sims can get there. And yeah, this is basically the whole micro home trick. Just avoid having huge rooms and you will be fine. Um, it's a lot of tricking the game, especially since you don't get a grid, for example. I used to like to place like a like a plate on the upper corner. I will show you real quick how I did this. Um, this is the quickest way to get them. So you do a room, a helping room, so to speak, on the lower floor. And then you get to the flat square floor tile that doesn't have like, you know, any walls around it. So we take that, put it over where you want it to have. And then you click on the lower room and just delete it. This will make the game, of course, delete the walls from the from the room, so to speak, because it thinks it, it has a room. But uh, yeah, we can easily trick it again. Can I tuck this in, please? Oh yeah, it's just... And then I'm just gonna put this, for example, here. And it's basically just working with ease all the time. So yeah, now we have another square up here. It also is, you know, working for the Sims. As long as there is a grid, they can walk on there. So that is something that you might want to use. But yeah, this is basically possible now. You can place normal objects up here. I always like to tend to use like a bedroom upstairs. I think it's just like for my privacy taste that to have like a bedroom upstairs. But you can, of course, put everything up here as you want to. And yeah, basically, this is the whole tutorial, guys. I really hope that you like this, that this was helpful. This is my first tutorial ever doing this. So I really hope that you kind of understood what we are doing by tricking the game into building tiny by just telling it, hey, I'm not building any rooms. I'm just making art with roofs. <laughs> um, so if there was something really unclear, just write it in the comments, please, because I really want to get this right and want to do like really cool tutorials for you that are helpful. If you have a workaround as well, like without the, you know, single walls and without the roofs, if you found something else that works as well, just, you know, share it with the community. It would be really cool. So, uh, yeah, we all can get uh, to be super good builders in the end. So, yeah, that's basically it. I want to thank you so, so much for watching. I hope this helped you out and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.